I'm Jessica. And I'm Annalise. And today, and today we'll be bringing you The Week Junior. Coming up today from The Week Junior, we'll be talking about this week's big news, around the world, the big debate, and much more. Let's get started with this week's big news. Mental, Mental Health, Health Awareness, Awareness Week. week. From 10th to 16th of May, Mental Health Awareness Week is being marked in the UK. This year's theme is nature and the aim is to get people to connect with the natural world. What is mental health? Mental health is how we think, feel and behave. Anxiety and depression are examples of mental health problems. Anxiety is a feeling of unease such as worry or fear and depression is when someone feels sad and loses interest for weeks or months in things that they used to enjoy. Sometimes people have a bad day and the way we control those is by picking quotes out of this happy day. You may not know what the future holds, but you should know who holds your future. So basically that's like, so you may not know what's going to happen in the future, but you know who's going to hold the future, which is you. If you want to see the rainbow, you've got to put up with the rain. So I think that means where like the rain is bad times and then the rainbow is like good times. So you have to like, if you want to have good times, you have to stick with the bad times. These, These are some, some of the things, things we, we do, do to keep, keep ourselves happy. Watamu, Kenya. Turtles fight to survive. Conservationists working with coastal communities in Kenya have saved more than 21,000 endangered turtles and taken 670 into turtle hospital. The sea creatures are threatened by poaching, the illegal capturing of wild animals. A conservation group called the Local Ocean Trust Trust is protecting the turtles by educating people and paying them to protect mangrove swamps as safe habitat for turtles. Wow, wow that's amazing. That's good that there's conservation projects because right now climate change and the turtles are dying from all the poaching. Yes. Corals are changing colour, animals are getting extinct. and It's really bad that they're poaching at the same time, but it's a good thing that they're bringing them into hospital, keeping them safe and... Yeah. yeah, but it's amazing that 670 turtles have to go into hospital. Yep. To go into hospital. Yep. Yesterday on the 8th of May was David Attenborough's birthday. He turned 95. Happy, Happy birthday! Don't, Don't forget, forget to, to spend, spend time laughing with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> and the seats are wobbly. Forget about the seats are wobbly. Like, like, sorry. Hello. We're doing a dance. Yeah. This is how Ashley's always like with David. <gasps> Paul. Last week, we asked if everyone aged 16 and over in the UK should be allowed to vote in elections. Most of you thought 16 year olds should have their say. 72% yes and 28% no. Yes one. The big debate. Should children play as they like? Some say young people should be free to play as they please. What you need to know. A recent study found that the children of the primary school age in the UK are not allowed to play outside on their own until they are two years older than their parents' generation were. Parents were allowed to play outside unsupervised at around the age of nine, whereas today, were around, whereas today's children are 11. Some people say free play is important for young people's development. However, others say that children should have supervised, structured play so that they can learn from adults. Playtime. Children in the UK aged 5 to 11 play for around 3 hours a day on average. 
just remember guys, coming up at the end of the video is a question. Tried new things. I'm still learning my cartwheel. <laughs> it's also good to try new things like this. Because a few weeks ago I couldn't do that, I was too scared. But I'm only telling you to learn how to do it. Well-being, <laughs> getting to know yourself, <laughs> working out who you are can make you happy and healthy, learn about yourself. These questions can help tell you about yourself. What are my strengths? Well, my strengths are doing sports and spending time with my friends and making myself happy. Well, my strengths are like dancing, singing, making people laugh and having fun with my family. What's my favourite thing to do? Um, do like gymnastics, tennis, build Lego again, play with Annalise and do this channel. Well, my favourite thing is to build Lego, play with my family, go to church and play with Jess and do loads of fun things. Who, who do I turn to for help when things are difficult? Well, my mum, Annalise, my friends, my parents, family, relatives. And yeah, church family. Tips for becoming more self aware make a bucket list and discover what you really want to do, where you want to go, and new experience you would like to try. That's a good idea for me as well. Yeah, I would make a bucket list. Don't be afraid of finding things difficult, except that everyone struggles sometimes. That's true, but everyone does struggle a lot. Keep an emotions diary to help identify your feelings using words, drawings, or emojis. Yeah, I'll sometimes do that if I really feel like I need to. Yeah. Quiz of the week! Remember when we told you to listen out for the question? Here it is. How long do 5 to 11 year olds spend playing per day on average? A. 1 hour B. 2 hours or C. 3 hours A. B. or C. We're going to give you 5 seconds to shout out the answer at, at the screen. 5, 4, What is the builder's favourite fraction? A hole! <laughs> <by my mother. laughs> and that was JNA's World News, bringing you the week junior. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so when our next video comes up, you'll be the first to see it. Bye!